Hello everybody, UK Prepper Man here again and I hope you're well. Now we are on my car at the moment as you can see here and it is 30 degrees so really really warm. I'm going to do a quick video on my car EDC and I will put some of the links to where I bought some of the items in the description box. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions please feel free to leave them and uh, I'm going to spin the camera around and we'll see what we've got. Yeah, it's always good to have some high vis and um, in the side compartments on uh, this particular model, we've got two storage sides, uh, storage uh, compartments, one on each side. So in there, just keep neatly folded up. One, two, three high vis vests. In addition to the regular ones with the Velcro on. So what with that and the jacket, um, you have enough for yourself and three passengers in the car. Now on the other side, I keep the first aid kit and. That's just in here, behind the other flap. Help behind a retaining strap. So it's just a standard. Okay, for one of the German supermarkets. I think it was Lee, Little or Aldi, but it's quite comprehensive. It's uh, perfectly suitable for uh, use in the car. Now, the other things I keep in the car, um, you can't see very clearly on here, um, but I keep, um, they're actually older floor mats. The reason I keep those is it stops anything in the boot from sliding around. It's also quite handy um, if you need some additional uh, um, tracking on the, um, if you're stuck in any mud or anything like that, it could be probably quite good if you need to lean, kneel on the floor to uh, do anything to do with the car. Um, so I keep two of those in there. Can't see very well because of the light. I'm sorry about that. Um, I also keep a warning triangle, and that's a standard warning triangle which I'll just show you out on the other side. So I've made things easy. I've just taken the box out of the boot now, so I put it on the ground so I can just uh, show you everything else that's uh, out at the moment. Okay. And so there it is, um, put up so to speak. Now. What I'm going to do is make things easy. I'm just going to get everything out of the box and lay it down. It's probably easy to see. Um, can't do anything in the car. The light's starting to go down now. So, I mentioned about the high vis vest earlier on. Um, high vis jacket. Now that one is a. Uh, you can see on there. You know, focus. It's a Dickies one. It's a contract to make. So very heavy duty. Um, high vis, thermal, waterproof, hood in the top. Perfect. You know, if, if you're standing outside a car, last thing you want to do is get all soaked. I also keep a regular fleece in there as well. Um, this one's just a, yeah, I think it's just a trespass, I think. Just a, uh, yeah, just a trespass, run of the mill one, but again, a little bit more warmth. Now, um, if you, anybody follows you uh, follows uh, Instagram, uh, Mr. F over in Ireland uh, mentioned about some tracks, and uh, um, they're very good. I've also got the, uh, the mats there, but um, he's completely right. I keep a set of snow tracks in the car, um, in July, 30 degrees, it's not going to snow, but they're all really, really handy because uh, I've managed to get stuck in a field a couple of times and uh, um, really, really handy to get out. So these just lock together, keeping the bag out of the way. You just hose them down if they get all muddy. So there we go. Right, let's uh, break open the box and see what we've got. Okie doke, right. Now, this is all been lumped in. It's normally organised a little bit better than this, but just for ease of uh, a load out. Carry a foot pump. Now, I don't carry a compressor for the simple reason if the battery failed on the car, I can't use the compressor. And although you could get backups of uh, power for the compressor, it's taking everything to the extreme, I think. So uh, um, just stick with a regular foot pump and uh, you can lose a few pounds to pumping a tires up if I need to. Um, we also have a can of deicer. Again, not completely needed in June, or July rather, but uh, it sort of stays in the car. By the way, more suitable WD 40. Don't use the straw, it's very, very handy to have the straw. Um, but I mean, that can be used for all sorts of things. Um, on a car, well, anything that sticks, for example, repels water, so it's very good. It's um, things like your locks and whatnot. It's a good idea to put a bit of that around there, so some freezing up. Um, headwear, hat, scarf. Now, in one of my jobs, I do um, quite late nights, and sometimes you come back at one, one, two, three o'clock in the morning, it can get a bit nippy. So, I don't need a scarf yet, but never know. Little one might get a bit cold as well, so think about it. And gloves, again, a pair of work gloves, which are, you can see on there, they're just uh, textured, so they're quite handy if you want to change a wheel or anything like that, or do any work on the car. I think you want to get your hands all mashed up. Um, driving gloves, it's leather, nice soft leather driving gloves. And a couple of pairs of uh, regular gloves, black and, oops, blue insulate ones as well so you can use them just really if anybody's getting cold in the car or anything like that you know you've got a bit of protection for yourself and the passengers keep some duct tape 
it's heavy duty duct tape as well. I don't like the cheap duct tape, it's rubbish, it just falls apart, it just won't stick to anything. Demister, these are all standard stuff. Now we're getting towards the bottom of the box so I can actually see everything. So we have a fire extinguisher. Friends on the continent, be aware that uh, if you're on the continent, you have to have fire extinguishers, high vis vests, and uh, warning triangles. In Britain, we don't need to have them by law, but I think any sensible person who drives for a living will. It's also worth bearing in mind if you drive professionally, you're a taxi driver or anything like that, you do need to have one of those and a first aid kit in your car. If you get lost, you have a map. There you go. Nice large scale map, so it's uh, suitable for use. If you get lost, do you miss the the spare batteries for the uh, the torches and now I have uh, two C cells on top and uh, two D cells underneath and uh, yeah, my security lights just come on that's quite good isn't it uh, 2021 you can see the date on there so plenty of life left on those so I've got a change for the mag light and uh, some for the Varta mentioning the Varta I haven't shown that have I yet nothing like a bit of order right Varta torch now this is the second torch I've got now I'll just move the beam over here a bit there we go Quite good actually because got a high mode and a lower mode, and it is quite good. I'm quite big, I quite like the torches, but it's also got on there, it's got a thing to stop it from rolling over. So, you know, it's just uh, got the angles on there, which is quite good. It's also fully waterproof as well, so if you're using that outside your car, it's quite a handy thing to have. Have a saw, this is just a standard um, saw, which I can try and open one handed. Right. Oops. There we go. That's not very gracefully done. And I'll tell you something. If you didn't have something that looked like a Laplander, that is just a complete copy of it. It costs nothing like a lap, back out Laplander, but it was, uh, um, it was £2 in Lidl. So, absolute bargain. You know, if you get stuck and you know, it needs to... It's even got a... It's even got a um, a lock on it, 45 degree lock, so it stops you from dropping your fingers, so... You know, you get any trees or anything like that, then you can uh, help get that out of the way if you'll get stuck. Right, so then, okay, now this is where you need a lot. Oh, my security lights come on. Brews, Nescafe. cafe, not bad. Ten for the price of eight. This is what you got to look at for your bargains. That came from a shop called B&M, which is uh, quite a popular discount brand shop in the UK. I think it was something like about 90p or 95p or something. Um, yeah. About the same as them, and you uh, you get uh, five in them. Well, five, uh, five, uh, two in ones. But you uh, can actually get about three cups out of each sachet. There, not being me, you just they're just very, very strong. Got a couple of ponchos as well. Obviously, you're stuck at the side of the road. You want something to keep you dry. And a couple of survival blankets, emergency blankets. Now these are admittedly just the cheap ones, like the poncho. And they actually came from, uh, you can see that there, that one came from Wilco. And that one came from Wilco. I think they were something about 75 pence each. So, you know, it's not, not very expensive, is it? Three quid to give a bit of comfort. Obviously for further lighting, I've uh, got Lumica lights. Got one there, which is a 12 hours uh, red. And we have a, uh, you can see that there, it's an eight hours white. So, the usual thing, just snap and hang them up. Little head torch there, nice little torch, little little gift. Just runs on three AA batteries, a couple of modes, flashes if you need it to. And it's just uh, handy if you're working on the car and you can't hold a torch at the same time. We'll do without taking this video. A little bit of a uh, basic utility cord, it's not a power cord or anything, but it'll... Uh, help out with things, tie things on if you need to and of course the old staple anybody who's ever stopped at a small service area realises there's no toilets or had to do a quick stop somewhere else and there's no toilet, toilet paper, tissues always keep a bag go shopping, you never have a bag when you need one and we have one of these which is a uh, microfiber travel towel by Summit so when you get in the car and you're soaking wet, you can dry yourself off, which is brilliant. Um, I keep a small notebook. It's just handy to record any information. It's just having a backup, you know, you've got about 
loads of different notebooks in the video. Right, here, so you have your multi tool there, and this is just a very basic multi tool, very, very cheap. Um, it's actually given as a gift, uh, it's a place I used to work, so there's basic stuff on there screwdrivers, blades, bits and bobs, half decent power pliers. Okay then folks, right, so we have some maps for the uh, the local area and the area around the Midlands where I live. Always a good backup in case your sat-nav fails. I have a dash cam, which is just a cheapie. It was only £20 from uh, the, an SO garage, a filling station. Uh, I did have to buy an SD card separately for it, which was about £10 online. Um, I'm using a 32 gig SD card, which on the 720 recording setting, it will give about an hour and 45 minutes. It will do uh, 1080 Full HD as well, um, obviously that takes the recording time down and it will record in uh, VGA which goes a bit grainy after that but you know you've got some adaptability there. comes complete with the charging cable which I'll show you where that's plugged in in a minute. And we have a sat nav for now, anybody realises that is a TomTom -tom 1 which is a very old sat nav, it's one of the first TomToms that came out so it could be due for a bit of an upgrade because it does need a lot of updates. Um, I've been down here, um, everything's all plugged into this little uh, box down here which basically goes into the, uh, the cigarette lighter. Um, that was actually purchased from uh, Aldi, um, I beg your pardon, yes it was, Aldi. Um, very cheap actually, I think it was about three or four pounds and so far I've had it for six months and it's still working so I think it's uh, worthwhile. It basically means you can plug two of the larger ones in, sat nav and the uh, dash cam. It also has, uh, if you can see there, three separate USB sockets that will run both 2.1 amp and 1 amp. So there's two 1 amps and one 2.1 amp. So if you've got anything like phones or tablets and anything you want to charge up, you can. Um, moving forward to the front, we uh, have a little generic cheapy torch. Going free with something, I think I did, but why not? You keep it there. It's only not very, it doesn't take a lot of space. Um, sunglasses, tissues. Oh. I forgot down there we've got pens just in case you need them also the char charging cable for the, uh, the mobile phone always keep some water in the car always keep some for the little one and um, I always keep some uh, hand sanitizer because muck mucky pores do happen um, in the back I also keep some wipes which I'll, uh, I'll show you in a minute now if I'll spin around to the other side excuse the, uh, the mess in the car guys it is a uh, could do with a bit of a clean. I also keep this in the door pocket. Uh, I keep a torch, and that is a mag light. It's an LED mag light, and it is uh, the 3D cell one as well. So, uh, not a massive lumen output. I think it's about 130 lumen, but uh, it's quite a good one to keep in the car. It does fit in the, the door pocket okay, and I think it's a little bit of a backup if you know what I mean. So, I'll show you what I've got in the back. Right there, folks, so where we have it. Um, all laid out there. I will put the links in the description box to where I bought some of the kit from. And I hope you enjoyed it. So any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Everyone take care. Bye.